Question 2. Which physical quantity could have the units of Newton second square meter negative 1? Okay, so this one, the easiest way or the most straightforward way, it may not be the fastest, but the most straightforward way is to break down all these quantities into base SI, starting with the one that is given. Okay, so I will look at this number and then I will convert this to base SI. So I know this is Newton. So Newton um, is the unit for force and force is equal to MA. So this Newton, I'm going to put this as kg ms negative 2. Okay, followed by everything at the back law, s square m negative 1. And then I just combine everything together. This will be kg. Met Wait, meter and meter is gone, right? So this, hey, everything cancels off. Very nice. So if everything cancels off, like this one and this one is bye-bye, and this one is this one is bye-bye, then when you are left with kg, then the answer will be mass. Okay? If let's say you get some combination of units, some combination of units that you cannot identify, then you need to break down all of this. Though. But now we don't need to. So that's a pretty straightforward question. Okay? So in case this one doesn't cancel off this nicely, then what you could do is you could just compare the base SI unit with option A, B, C, and D. Alright, so that's it for question two.